Hello everyone and welcome to this month's episode of What's for Dinner. Today I'm going to be making a broccoli cheddar soup, perfect for the Lent season. Let's get cooking. This recipe actually comes from my wonderful Tasty Cookbook, the original Tasty Cookbook that I got a number of years ago, and it's a very simple, easy recipe, and as I said, perfect for the season of Lent. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a quarter cup of butter, which is this half stick, or this, yeah, this half stick, yeah, half stick right here, or quarter stick, whatever you wanna call it, and half of an onion. We're gonna put that into this pan right here, and we're gonna cook the onions until they become translucent. Butter in here, turn the heat on medium, get this here. So all that butter is melting before we put the onions in. What I did previously before I started recording was I took two big heads of broccoli and I cut off the stems and just have the florets here in this bowl. So we will add this a little bit later. There are a couple other ingredients we have to add to the butter and onions once they're cooked. Okay, butter is beginning to melt. Okay, that's still melting a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these onions in here. So once the butter has melted and the onions are cooked, you're gonna add a quarter cup of flour and you're gonna continue cooking that until it browns a little bit. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this cook here. When the onions are translucent and the butter has melted, we'll come back and we'll add the flour and the next couple of ingredients. All right, these onions are looking really good. I don't know exactly when it meet when they're fully translucent, but uh, the butter is melted and they're starting to brown a little bit. So I'm going to say that's a good time that we can go ahead and add our quarter cup of flour. And once you do that, we're then going to add two cups of half and half. So once the mixture lightly browns, which it actually didn't take very long to do, it is actually a light tan brownish color right now. So once it gets to this consistency, you're going to add, as I said, two cups of half and half. This is a pint, which is two cups. And then once you've done that, you're going to wait for it to reach a simmer. You're gonna lower the heat and let it simmer by itself for about five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna add in this. mixing it until it reaches a nice simmer. So as I said, once this starts to simmer, we're going to turn it to low and then we're going to add two cups of vegetable broth. Once we do that, we're going to let it simmer by itself for about five to ten minutes. It's starting to do that little bubble thing now that milk tends to do when you heat it up. And I think this is about as close to a simmer as I'm going to get from it. Get this little kind of film on top so and it's also starting to thicken a little bit at the bottom so i think this is a sign to go ahead and add our vegetable stock again two cups of this i'm going to pour it in nice and slowly simmer by itself for about five to ten minutes. When we come back we're going to add a couple more spices and of course the broccoli and then that's pretty much it. Okay so it's been simmering for about ten minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and add in our broccoli. We're going to also add some carrots and a couple spices. Some nutmeg, black pepper, and salt. Okay first we'll add the broccoli. And this is still on low so we're not doing much else but putting the broccoli in. The carrots give a little bit of sweetness, and it's only a quarter cup. I'm sorry, it's only a half a cup, my bad. And 
then we're going to add in two teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. teaspoon of nutmeg. And mix that in. Okay, now we're going to let this simmer for 10 to 15 minutes before we add in the cheese, and then you pretty much have your soup. So again, I'll be back in about 15, 10 to 15 minutes or so to put the cheese in. All right, it's been about 15 or so minutes, and the last thing we have to do is just add in two cups of cheddar cheese. Now, it says grated in the recipe. This is shredded. I don't really think it, there is a difference. Maybe there is. I don't know, but I'm just going to go and add all this cheese in. We just mix it in so that it nicely melts mingles with the rest of the soup. Turn the heat up a little bit. And once the cheese melts, that's pretty much your soup. So I'm going to let this cook here a little bit longer, get it heated up a bit, and then I'll put some in a bowl and we'll try it for you. All right, I got a bowl of it right here, and it looks really good. Everything looks really nice and evenly mixed together. It's quite hot on the bottom. All right, let's give it a try, shall we? say is the broccoli could be a little bit more done and it could be just a tad hotter but other than that it's very good mm. well i hope you enjoyed this episode of what's for dinner if you would like to submit a recipe for future consideration on the show i have created a google form that allows you to do just that you can find it in the description below or you could just go ahead and leave your recipe in the comments below as well thank you all again for watching take care and god bless we'll see you next time